In this video, I want to share with you my seven step process on how I self publish audiobooks. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full time print on demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on merch by Amazon, Etsy, and KDP slash audiobooks. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. So what motivated, what motivated me to actually make this video is because I was just checking my sales on Author, Authors Republic. That's one of the websites or platforms that I use to sell my audiobooks. You can see this is the URL right up here, authorsrepublic.com. Um, and I noticed that I had two big months back to back. So in September, I did almost $800, $789. And then October, I did 716 Now, this is kind of rare to have two big months back to back um, on Authors Republic because Authors Republic is an aggregator. So basically what they do is, you know, you'll upload your audiobook to this website and they will take it out and dish it out to like, I don't know the exact number, but I think it's around like 30 or 40 websites that sell audiobooks. And a big percentage of those uh, websites only pay out on a quarterly basis. So that's why you'll see that it's kind of like low right here, 300, 400, and then a big month right here. And then it's kind of again, low, low, big, low, low, big. But then I saw that there was two big months back to back. So that kind of caught my eye because I'm just so used to the payment system. And when I checked my stats, I actually have a new collection book that I'll get into collections later on in this video. But I have a new collection book that is kind of going viral or just getting more traction. It's, it got like, it made me like $300 just alone that one book. Um, so that's uh, really cool. So I'm going to be excited to see how the big quarterly month that pays out. Um, but yeah, so that's what motivated me to make this video. I mentioned that if you guys wanted more um, audiobook content, so that's why I'm making this video for you guys today. But I want to show you or explain to you my seven step process because I didn't really know what type of video to make. So I figured I would just make a video showing you the process. And then if you want more information on a certain step, then I can uh, dive really deep down into that step and show you like exactly how I do it. But basically the first thing that you want to do when self-publishing audiobooks is that you have to pick a niche you want to either go fiction or non-fiction now me personally um, you know I started off doing both but now I only do fiction and that doesn't mean that you only have to do fiction but the reason I only do fiction is because I actually got my KDP account terminated because I was self-publishing non-fiction and what someone did is they actually um, uh, knocked off someone else's book and wrote basically the same book gave it to me, I published it, Amazon saw that, and I got uh, my account terminated for that. So I just don't really trust authors anymore to do um, nonfiction books for me. Now that's not to say that's gonna happen to you, that was just my experience, but it's just a lot harder for someone to, um, you know, give you copyrighted content if it's uh, fiction because if it's fiction they have to come up with a story you know they have to use their own creativity so it's just it's not impossible but it's just a lot harder so that's why I just kind of stay away from nonfiction I just focus on uh, fiction basically and the niches that I'm in for fiction is uh, romance right? and then also um, short uh, scary stories now I've done way more money with romance there's just tons of people that just are avid readers and they love reading or listening to these romance stories all right um, now the horror stories do sell well as well but I've just had better success with the fiction ones um, the only downside to um, you know audiobooks especially compared to um, you know uh, self or um, uploading or designing t-shirts is that you know there's a lot more of a cost with audiobooks you have to because everything's outsourced. You have to pay the, um, you have to pay the writer. You have to get it edited. I'm going to get into all these, but there's just more an expense. With t-shirts, you know, all I have to do is just pay $10 to Photoshop or, you know, f uh, $40 for a year with Creative Fabrica. And I get access to all of these designs. So it's just a lot cheaper print on demand or merch by Amazon. But the most amount of money I've ever made online is with ebooks, uh, um, and audiobooks. There was a time where I was making a thousand dollars a day just on, uh, ebooks. All right. Um, but that was back when it was a little more of the wild, wild west. Um, but let's go and get into this first step. So the first step is you got to pick a niche. So you either want to pick fiction or nonfiction. Me personally, I do fiction and I'm doing, um, you know, like I said, horror and romance, All right? Now, once you have your niche that you want to, uh, um, you know, uh, self publish to, you're going to have to get the book written. And so where I like to get my book written is on Upwork. So you've probably heard of Upwork before. And what you want to do is you just want to go to post a job. And you're just going to basically ask or you're going to uh, create a job post saying that you're looking for a freelance writer to write you a book 
on whatever type of topic basically again if you want more information on my exact process on how i do this just comment below this video is more just about like the seven steps i can get into more to each uh, uh step specifically if you want just let me know in the comments um, now me personally the way i do it is i do ten thousand word short stories and i pay a hundred dollars for those short stories the way that it works is that you pay by the word it's not by the amount of pages or anything like that it's about how many words and the majority of um, freelancers not all but the majority usually will charge you um, you know a uh, hundred dollars for ten thousand words basically um, some charge a little more but the cheapest you'll get is probably around you know a hundred dollars and that's fine uh, ten thousand words is going to be about a 30 minute audiobook all right um, so yeah so you want to get the book written um, again I can get into more of this if you want just let me know but then once you have the book written what you want to do is you want to get it edited and you can also go to Upwork as well to do this you would just do the same thing you would just create a job I always like to put how much I want to uh, charge in the job so I just don't get a whole bunch of people uh, sending me pointless proposals now the most I'll pay for this um, it depends you can get it for pretty cheap but it's either 10 or 20 bucks for 10,000 words you know a lot of people will do it for 10 but some people want to charge a little more currently the person that I'm using charges 20 but I've just worked with her forever and she does good work and we have a good working relationship so I pay her 20 but you can get it as low as ten dollars uh, for 10,000 words it's really important that you do get your um, your story edited because you don't want to have typos that's gonna get you a lot of bad reviews now maybe you're an editor so you can do this yourself me I don't really want to read a 10,000 uh, word you know romance story or short story I'm not really into reading to be honest and, um, so I'll just pay an editor to do that for me he or she will make all the changes and she will send me back the final uh, draft or the final product basically then once you have the um, you know the story edited and good to go now you're going to want to have to uh, now you have to get a cover now me personally this is the only step that I do myself everything else is outsourced except for the cover because I just you know since um, you know I learned how to design t-shirts online I just have experience creating covers you know being a graphic designer working with Photoshop and it's pretty easy the website that I get my uh, photos or covers from or the photo that I'm gonna use for my cover is called um, I forget the name but it'll come to me I think it starts with a D uh, give me a second here. let me see if I can find it okay so sorry about that I kind of had a little bit of a brain fart um, it's getting kind of late at night here but I use deposit photos so you can pay these guys like 10 bucks a month and you can get these uh, photos that you can use for your covers and you just pop it into Photoshop you know do just a couple little you know tricks and you can get a nice cover now if you don't know how to um, you know design your own cover you can just go to Fiverr and you can just type in like you know this word right here I don't want to say it because I think it's or YouTube might get me in trouble but you can just type in like fiction book cover or this word right here book cover and then you know you want to do something kind of like this right here or something like this these are the type of books that I sell in the um, romance category and you can get these for pretty cheap you know um, usually you can get them for like five or ten bucks but that's why I just like to design myself just to get an extra savings all right now once you have the cover now it's time to upload the everything up to KDP so you want to go to this website right here KDP you can see that it says right here this account has been closed this is my account that got terminated like six years ago or something like that um, because that person sent me a book basically she copied someone else's book and gave it to me like I mentioned you know I didn't know I uploaded Amazon busted me for it um, but some way somehow I was able to actually create a second account let me just move my face out the way here um, right here so this is my second account that I have with KDP now to be honest I don't really make that much money with KDP you're gonna see only six dollars and sixty three cents um, but what most people don't know because a lot of like graphic designers they'll take their t-shirts uh, designs and they'll upload them onto journals but the best way to make money in my opinion on KDP is with the uh, uh, Kemp right here so where is it oh this right here Kemp so this is basically if you upload your uh, ebook into KDP select then you can get paid with uh, pages read and this is how I was making that those thousand or those I was, that's why I was having those thousand dollar days uh, way back uh, six years ago when everything was just jamming on uh, KDP those were the good old days um, I think I made like 30,000 in one month it was pretty cool um, and they even paid me on it too but then they caught me and 
God bless it. That's a uh, that's a story for another day. Uh, but so yeah, so this is I think the fourth step right here. You're going to upload it onto KDP. So you just go to bookshelf right here and then you would click on upload an ebook. Now the reason why you want to upload the ebook onto KDP first is because the fifth step, you gotta move this again, is you're going to go to ACX. So ACX is an Amazon website. This is all the ebooks that are sold on Amazon are um uh, self-published on ACX as this is it right here ACX I have a dark reader extension that's why everything is black because I get bad eye strain when I stare at a computer screen screen for too long um, but so what you want to do here is you're going to basically um, uh, you're going to put in your ASIN number so that's why you have to have it on KDP first so that you can get this ASIN number so if you go to any one of these books right here so like for example this one right here you're going to see that it has an ASIN number now the ASIN number is going to be up in the URL at the top here or you can find it down here in the book uh, information so it's going to be somewhere right around here right there there's the ASIN number so you're going to need that number right there to go to ACX and then you're going to type that into go to my projects it's going to ask you to type that in you're going to type it in. it's going to ask you you know do you want to claim this book and then you're going to say yes um, but if you're not familiar with ACX you can uh, search for free, uh, for uh, narrators here. That's the fifth step. You want to get the book narrated. All right, so you can come in here and you can search for a narrator. Again, if you want my specific process on how I do this step right here, just comment below. What would you do is you just search for a narrator. So me personally, I like to use just female. Um, I've noticed I've done better with female narrators than male. Not all the time, but for the most part, Females tend to do better, and you're just going to go ahead and like listen to these. So it's okay, so no, I would definitely not do that one. That voice doesn't sound good. But what you can do here is you can use the filters. So you can go to like vocal style. So for romance, you're going to probably want to do something like feminine. Uh, what else? Maybe like flirtatious, perky, something like that. And then you can apply it and you'll be able to get some good voices. And then what you would do is you would just reach out to them and say, hey, are you interested in uploading or narrating my book? And there's two ways that you can do it. You can either just pay them or you can do a royalty split where every time you get a sale, you would split the royalty with the narrator. And that doesn't cost you anything. So you can go the paid way or you can go the royalty way. Me personally, I would rather just pay them so that I can get all the royalties. But I have done the royalty split in the past. So it just kind of just like a just have to ask yourself which one would work better for you um, but I just remember that it's actually the other reason why I also like to pay them and not do the royalty split because if you do the royalty split you can only upload it onto Amazon and the final step is Authors Republic and that's why I like to just pay them because then I can take the book and I can upload it onto any website that I want um, and that's where I make the big bucks is with taking it and putting it onto Authors Republic right here so again, you can't really see the name, but this is Authors Republic, and this is the website that is paying me out, you know, seven hundred dollars the past two months right here. So right here again, seven hundred, seven hundred. So you know that's kind of the, um, you know, the, the the process, the steps in a nutshell. Um, you're basically going to pick the niche. You're going to get the book um, written. Then you're going to get it edited. Then you're going to make a cover. Then you're going to upload it onto KDP. Then you're going to upload it onto ACX, get it narrated, upload onto ACX. Then once it's live on ACX, you're going to take those files from a ACX and then upload it onto Authors Republic. All right, I, this, this might not be the best explanation, but just kind of like showing you my process on how I do this. Um, you will kind of learn as you go. But the cool thing about, you know, audiobooks is that all these books, the majority of them, I published them like six years ago, you know, and they're still just getting me sales every month. You know, and I don't just make money on Authors Republic. I also make money on ACX as well. Now, ACX, I don't make as much. To be honest, I'm probably making like $100, $150 a month. But to be honest, it's because I'm not really uploading too much to those um, to those uh, romance books anymore. But you can make a ton of money on both. But I've always done better on Authors Republic, this one right here. Um, so, yeah, so that is my process. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you want more information, like I said, on a specific step, just comment below and I can kind of dive in and hopefully give you a better explanation. But I just want to give you kind of like the, the gist of it. So I hope that helps. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want more, you know, uh, KDP, uh, you know, uh, self-publishing ebooks, audiobooks, uh, content? 
comment below and I will uh, try and help you as best as possible. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.